Hi, my name is Jim, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to install Kubeflow on AWS using MiniKF. First, what is MiniKF? MiniKF is arguably the fastest and easiest way to get Kubeflow deployed. It's a package distribution supported in QA by Aricto. It runs on Kubernetes via a single VM hosted on either AWS or on GCP. It ships with the latest Kubeflow 1.4 release, and it comes pre-configured with the Kale Jupyter Lab extension, as well as the Rock data management component. Now the first thing to do is to head on over to aricto.com slash get started or click on the start with Qflow button anywhere on the website. Fill out the form and you'll immediately get access to uh, everything that you need in regards to installation instructions, tutorials, as well as where to get help in the event you get stuck. All right, first some requirements and some tips and tricks before we uh, do an install. The first one is going to be around default resources. You're going to want to stick with the default instance type in the AWS marketplace, which is going to be your M5-2x large. You don't want to go any smaller than that or the install will not succeed. Although uh, more resources is always uh, better. But with the default instance type, you're going to get access to eight virtual CPUs, 32 gigs of memory, EBS storage, as well as 10 gigabits of ethernet. Now, two quick tips and tricks. The first one is going to be make sure to hit the refresh button if you don't see your new VPC or subnet in the dropdown. Uh, for whatever reason, the AWS uh, UI doesn't auto refresh. And then second, make sure that your security group, if you create one, has access to SSH on port 22 and HTTP on port 80, as this will be essential for logging into the Qflow central dashboard. The installation itself is very straightforward. It only comprises of four steps. The first one is to launch MiniKF from the AWS Marketplace. The second one is to define the resources in the configure screen and click the launch button. Third, we SSH into the instance and kick off our MiniKF installation. And then in step four, we're going to log into the Kubeflow Central dashboard. That's it. Let's do this. All right, let's head on over to the AWS Marketplace and locate the MiniKF entry. Click on the Continue to Subscribe button. Read the verbiage, then click on the Continue to Configuration uh, button. And here we're going to want to take a lot of the defaults, which are going to be the AMI that's specified, as well as the software version, which is going to be the latest version. And then we want to select the appropriate region uh, for our deployment. Click on the Continue to Launch button. And here we're going to want to make sure that we stick with the default instance type, which is going to be M52X large. And depending on your configuration, you may or may not need to uh, make changes to your VPC or subnet settings. I'm going to go ahead and create a new security group. I'm not going to call it anything fancier than demo2. And then save that out and make sure that you select it for this deployment. Let's also go ahead and create a new key pair. In this case, again, I'm not going to call it anything fancier than demo2. Click on the create key pair. And let's make sure that we select that new key pair from the dropdown. Once selected, we're ready to go ahead and click on the launch button. Go into the EC2 console. Now let's go ahead and locate the instance that we just deployed. And we can see that it is in an initializing state. Once it passes all the checks, we're ready to go ahead and click into the instance and connect to it. Once connected to it, we're ready to just at the terminal type in mini KF and click enter. And this will go ahead and kick off the install. Now, through the magic of time-lapse videography, we're going to get through this Kubeflow installation fairly quickly. In real time, you're going to want to allocate maybe 10 to 15 minutes uh, tops. You're going to get a splash screen that's going to have your central dashboard URL as well as your credentials. Fire up your favorite browser, tap in the URL, your credentials, click login, and now you are at the Kubeflow central dashboard. Thanks for watching. Happy Kubeflowing.